Yeah, I want to show you how to solve this uh, particular question that you are doing on the screen of this tablet. And this question happens to be a wide question on auxiliary views. And let's look at the instructions so that we know what we want to do. The question says, the figure below shows the elevation and plan of a component in first angle projection. Draw full size, the given elevation and plan, and project an auxiliary elevation of the component on plane QQ. No hidden details are required. Okay, so that is the question. We are asked to replicate what we have here, these diagrams that you see here. We are asked to replicate them. That is the given elevation and plan. This is the elevation and this is the plan. This is plane QQ upon which we are asked to produce the auxiliary elevation. So what you need to do is to replicate these views that you have here, including the plane. Then you go on to produce the auxiliary elevation of plane QQ, as I'm going to show you here. But before I begin to solve this problem, I've said this several times in other videos that I made on auxiliary views, that whenever you are asked to produce an auxiliary elevation or auxiliary plan, try as much as possible to, to sketch the isometric view of the object, because that will help you to be able to draw the uh, the, the auxiliary view that I actually produce with ease and that is what I've done here which I'm going to show you right now so this is it I've produced the isometric view of the object and I'm going to use this to answer the question so based on what you have asked to, to, to do I've produced the giving views so these are giving views this is the front elevation and this is the plan as we are told that we should produce the giving views I'll produce the giving views. The next thing that we are going to do is to draw the auxiliary elevation that we're asked to draw. Now, for you to produce the auxiliary elevation, what you need to do is to draw lines from each of the points on the plan. So I mean this point, 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 and this point. You produce lines on each of the points, but for you to produce the line, you have to take note of the angle at which the plane is inclined. For example, this plane now, this plane QQ, upon which we are asked to produce the auxiliary elevation, upon which we are asked to produce the auxiliary elevation, is inclined at an angle 45 degrees to the horizontal. And what we want to do is that we want to produce lines that be at a right angle to this line. So when you are to do that, depending on the value of the angle that you are given, as I'm given angle 45 degree here, because the plane is inclined at angle 45 degree, so I have to use my 45 degree set square. Because 45 plus 45 will give me 90. So that means if I use my 45 degree set square to produce the line, from each point on the plan, it will, the, those lines will be at a right angle to this line. So this is what I'm saying. So let's start with that first. So from this point here, from this point, you draw a line like this. Then from this point, you draw this line like this. So from this point here, there's a point here, you draw this line, and from this point, you draw this line. And also from this point, you draw a line. From this point here, you draw a line. From this point, there is a point here, you draw a line. So I'm going to pause the video, this video and do other ones, then I will come back when I'm done with that. So, all right. I've produced the lines with my 45 degree set square and each of this line of these lines is inclined at an angle 90 degree to this plane QQ upon which we are asked to produce the auxiliary elevation. Now the next thing that we have to do here is that 
you come to this point on the front elevation come to this point on the front elevation i mean this point draw a horizontal line to this side you come to this point to draw a horizontal line to this side you come to this point here draw a horizontal line to this side come to this point here draw a horizontal line to this side and also come to this point draw a horizontal line to this side likewise here draw a horizontal line to this side and then the next thing that you need to do is that you come to this point with your take your set square and come to this point and draw a vertical line now on this vertical line we are going to number this this is one we we'll number this as one i will number this as two or let me call it a don't let me call it like that because i want to do something with those that numbering so this is a this is b and i will call this c this is d so this is e so this is e and this is f okay now the next thing i'm going to do is that is to take my compass so i take my compass so put it at point a here and extend to b so on this plane qq this is my point a here so take a b and make a make an arc here this is point b then from a to c again so from a to c take that distance put it at point a and make an arc here so this is point c so i'll do the rest i'll come back later all right all the points have been located on this line the next thing that you need to do is that with a 45 degree set square so we are going to draw a parallel line to the plane QQ. You just take it to point B and draw a line in this direction with a 45 degrees S square. Also bring it to C, draw a line, take it to D, take it to D, draw this line, and take it to E, draw this line, and you take it to F, you draw a line from here okay now the next thing that we are going to do now is that so i need to make use of the isometric view that are produced which i told you that you need to produce whenever you ask to do or to solve this kind of problem now when i'm looking at this object in this direction we are looking at this object in this direction like this in the direction of this arrow so when i'm looking at the direction of this arrow i will see this shape this u shape this u shape and i call it one and i will also see this rectangle which is which i call two i will see this surface here which i call three and i will see this square here which i called four and then i will also see this rectangle which i called five here so the first one that we are going to produce is that let us produce we are going to produce one for this shape one we want to produce it first so now if you look at this thing that we have here let me break it down so this thing that we have here like this so if you look at this point here and this point here so this point and this point this is where we have it we have it here and we have it as you can see from here to here so what you need to do is that you come to this point and you go up on this line so when you get to a and if you look at it this point is on point a is on line a likewise this point here is also on line a which is this point so when you get to this line point point this point on line a here you put a dot there and then you follow this one from here to here so you put a dot here all right then the height the height from here to here is from a to f so that means if I move from this point and I go up, so when I get to F, I will stop it here. So this is it. Then, so we have this line. So we have this line, it goes from this point down here. That's what, from this point down here. So where do we have this line from here to here? So from distance from here to here, 
will give us this line from here to here and don't forget that this point is point f as this one is point f so all i need to do is that, is that i need to go up on this line so i go up on this line so this is the point this is the point so and then distance from here to here it we go from a to a here so i will also move on this line we also move on this line so this is the point here this is the point here and then the next one is that distance from here to here so f is from a to b here distance from here to here is a to b so if i go up on this line and i move to point b this is the point here and then for this point for this point here i will come down from f to e this point is point e i will come down from f to e so that is i will still go on this line like this so from f down to e so i have this point here i have this point and then what about this point here this point is still on on e this point is still on e why this point is still on two so all i need to do is that this is where we have the point here so i'll just go up like this then i have this the point here then on e i have the point here so i will join this together now with my ruler so this is it so i join this together so i join this together like this Then I will join this together. Then I will join this together. Then this we go from here down. Like this. Then this will be a thick line. So this is the advantage of using the isometric view of producing the isometric view. It will help you to get the work done with ease so then i made this line thick to be a thick line likewise this will be a thick line here all right so we have produced one so that is shape one that we have here this shape that we have here we have produced this so the next one that we want to produce let us produce two like this which is this rectangle so where do we have this point we have it here which we have already gotten here and also this point here we have gotten it here so then the next point that we have at this point and this point so if i go on this line from here i have a point i have the point here then going up to b which is this point i have it here so this is it so the rectangle is already there so all i need to do is to join this together like this to so make this line thick and i will also make this line I'll make it tick then so we have the rectangle here all right so this rectangle that we have up here which is five I want to produce at once I will also go up from here so we already have this point and this point we already have them here so this point is from E to F which is this point to this point so I want to produce at once So we join this together like this and then we join this together and I'll make this line and make it a thick line. Alright, so the object is coming up little by little. So the next thing that I want to do is to produce three, which is this shape. So where do we have this shape? We have this point. This point is here and this point is on this side. So all I need to do is to go up on this line. So it's already here. This point is already here. Then this point. So I'll go up on this line. So the point is here. This is the point. This is the point here. So all I need to do is that this line as it goes up to point E, it goes up to point E. And this also goes up to point E, which I have already produced. It's only this one that I need to produce now. So I'll make this. So I make this a thick line like this. Okay. So I make this a thick line 
and then so the next thing that we need to put here is we have produced four we have produced three now so what we have done just done here is three so the next thing that we need to do is to produce this square here so where do we have that square so we have this point and this point this is where we have it in the plan this point and this point so if i go up if i go up here So if I go up from this point, so look at this point, we have it on C, this is where we have it, we have it on C, so if I go up like this, if I go up on this line, so we have the first point here on C, and the second point is also on C here, from here, so we also have this on C, so this point and this point, we have them on E, so on this E, we have them on E, so I will still go on this line, so I have it here, this point, and then the second one is here, so I have it here, so I'll just join this together, with a thick line, and I'll join this together with a thick line, then, join this together, and then I will join this together. Alright, so if you look at what we have here, the shape is already out. So we have one, we have two, and we have three, we have four in place. And then we also have five in place. So let me number it. This is what this is one. This is shape one. This one is shape one. Here is shape two. And here is shape three. So here we have shape 4 and here we have shape 5. So we have gotten them in place. So and another thing is in case you are asked to show the hidden detail, though we are asked not to show the hidden detail here. Also, there is a line at this point that is like this. But this line, we can't see it is hidden from us. So in case we are asked to show it, so we have the line at this point here. All I need to do is to go on this line, starting from here, and I will make short dashes line here for hidden detail. But we are asked not to show it in the question, so but in case you are asked to show it, so that's why I'm doing this. So we have it up to this level. So that's it. So that is the hidden detail. And that's how to show so this is the solution to the problem and you need to practice and don't forget whenever you are given a question on alternative or, or, or on auxiliary views make sure you sketch the orthographic view which will help you to get the work done with ease so keep on practicing and keep on uh, watching uh, look for more videos on auxiliary views that are produced and practice them and practice them so I can throw this back to you again and you need to learn everything about this topic subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and share my video with your friends who are technical drawing students tell them to come and learn from this particular YouTube channel where you see all the instruments how they are used and how the work is being done and don't forget to put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video you'll be notified thank you for watching thank you for listening and keep on practicing god bless you